Hi guys, it's Terry. Um, this is going to be a follow-up video to a video I did a couple months ago, um, which discussed how to change the default settings for your fan page uh, wall. Um, and I'm also going to go a little bit into the new uh, fan page user interface and show you what they've added and where you can find some things that have moved. So let's get started. Um, first, uh, when you create a fan page, you should know that it is the default setting for all for all fan pages is uh, for only the fan page updates to show on the wall. So my advice is change that as soon as you can because again we're here you know uh, social media is about community being your updates aren't any more important than your fans. So if you really want to encourage engagement, have them asking you questions, having them provide their value, they're going to be a bit discouraged when they come to the page and see that, well, gosh, they don't even show my updates. Okay. How do you change that? Just come on over here to options. All right. So this is the way it's set by default. What you want to do is just come on over here and set it to the first option, which is Terry, oh, Terry, which is the, your fan page plus others. So second option is just the fan page. Third option is um, other, just others, which I have no idea why you'd ever set it to that. So again, quickly, just pick the first option. Now they added uh, another feature that we didn't have before, and it's a spam filter. So go ahead. I strongly suggest that um, you check these. Uh, you check this. So you check it by literally hitting, clicking on the spam. And so far, I have not found any of... Um, uh, the, the, my likers, uh, updates being caught in here by accident. I really so far have only found spam, so that's good, but you never know what could happen. Just like your Gmail, you should every once in a while, check out your spam folder. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, hit the X because obviously this is spam and I'd like to report the abuse and I'm going to pick the spam or scam, um, option. The rest uh, are hate speech and attacks on individuals, violence, crime, or self-harm, nudity, pornography, etc. But there's another option, uh, there's another feature here or element here that I think is really important. If you check permanently ban this person from this fa Facebook page and remove all content that they've posted, that means that that particular post will be deleted and that person won't be able to uh, be on your page and do this again. So go ahead and hit submit. And it's going to take care of getting rid of um, that spam. Now, if you choose not to uh, report the abuse and you simply want to just remove it, you would hit the X and you would just remove the post. I'm not quite sure why... Um, that was a little bit slow there because usually it won't let you usually just by checking that it, it, it removes it automatically, but it was going a little bit slow. I thought I'd speed it up. So we've gone ahead by hitting the options. We can very quickly uh, change the default setting. Now, if you go into settings, you can also change it there, the default view, um, but you also could choose where you want your non-likers, people that haven't yet liked your page. Where do you want them to land when they visit your fa uh, your Facebook page? Um, is it the wall? Ah, sorry, info. All you need to do is click on your drop down and just pick one of your tabs that's already created. If you have an FBML page, just pick whatever one you would like them to land on, okay? Uh, the next option is your wall spam filter. There's two options, one's hidden and one's visible to admins only. I would pick this one because I think it's important to kind of manage it, make sure that things aren't getting caught in there that shouldn't. Um, the next uh, option you have here is auto expand comments. So what that means is um, when you have an update and let's say you have 10 comments, um, they'll shrink it to where you're just gonna see your update and then you'll see um, a link saying 10 comments. So I think when you're starting off in your fan page, have this checked because that's going to encourage engagement. People are going to see automatically, oh yes, there's lots of comments, people are engaging. And then I can understand if you're getting like a ton of comments and to where people have to scroll down, you know, several pages just to see the next update that of course you're going to want to uncheck that. Uh, permissions. This is just, I have all mine checked. So that's saying that all my fans or likers, I should say, they can post content on my wall. 
uh, post photos, videos, links. Again, uh, social media is about engagement and community, so I would have those checked. All right, so um, let me show you the new edit page. So when you used to hit edit page, it used to just be one page. Well, they've changed the interface and it's really nice. Uh, if you hit manage permissions, that will just pull up basically the page that we were just in, okay? Um, the basic information is, um, you know, your websites, when it was founded, remember this little trick. If you type in uh, this area, and this is, if you're a local business, this won't show up for you. You have a different um, interface. Um, go ahead and type in something that you'd like to have show up on your uh, page, your, your, your wall, okay? Not your wall, but you're underneath your photo. And I'm going to show you in a minute, so just remember that. Um, so you're going to you're fill out all this information. Uh, this is, you know, where you're going to upload your picture, edit. Now, this marketing, this is where you're going to find, you know, you could click here to advertise. You could click here to get a badge or a like box. But they changed this. They love hiding how you send an update. But if you'd like to send an update, you're going to need to go to marketing and click on send an update. This is where the next uh, link down, manage your admins. Next link down, all your applications. Next link down, your uh, mobile. Um, now, this is another important uh, page to check out. You can come here to get the email to where you can actually um, upload photos and videos to your fan page from your phone. So just come on in here, find out your unique email that you'd uh, upload to, okay? Then, of course, these two are your insights and your pages help. So let me go back to the view page and show you what I meant by the founded. Now, what happened is when I typed in founded, and most likely you just put like, I don't know, 1997, 2008, whenever your company was founded. But type in whatever you want here, and it will show up as an information box underneath your other uh, text tab. Wait, text tabs, I'm sorry, text box. So that's really cool. Uh, and I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover uh, today. If you have any questions, I'd really appreciate you including them in the comments below, and I will answer them. Have a wonderful night.